Hello NC Realtors, I'm Tony Harrington, your 2024 president, and I'm coming to you today to share information on issues that are going to affect you and the homeowners of North Carolina. The Insurance Commissioner Mike Causey announced earlier this month that the North Carolina Rate Bureau filed a rate filing with the North Carolina Department of Insurance on Wednesday asking for an average statewide increase of homeowners insurance rates of 42.2%. Now the Rate Bureau has asked for the rates to become effective August 1st. The North Carolina Rate Bureau represents companies that write insurance policies in the state and is a separate entity from the North Carolina Department of Insurance. Many of you remember the advocacy and the lobbying efforts that we did in 2020 where the Rate Bureau requested an overall average increase at that time of 24.5%. That filing resulted in a settlement between the Commissioner Causey and the Rate Bureau for an overall average rate increase of 7.9%. And then we knew that that still was a strong increase. But 42.2% now? This is just an average. Some counties like coastal areas of New Hanover, Brunswick, Onslow, Carteret, and Pender counties are reporting a proposed 99.4% increase and the same counties in that mainland area a rate increase of 71.4%. Now a public comment period is required by law to give the public time to address the proposed rate increase. There are four ways to provide comments. A public comment forum will be held to listen to public input on the North Carolina Rate Bureau's rate increase request at the North Carolina Department of Insurance's Jim Long Hearing Room on January 22nd from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. I will be addressing that forum that day on behalf of NC Realtors, 57,000 members and the homeowners across our great state. A virtual public comment forum will also be held simultaneously in the in-person forum on January 22nd. You know, we as Realtors working with clients and customers know that this increase is detrimental to the housing market in North Carolina. With affordable housing already at historical lows, we know that this, if approved, would further prevent buyers from attaining the American dream. I want you to know that your leadership team, legislative, advocacy and lobbying teams are actively working on this and will provide more information on how you can get involved very soon.